Hello everybody, it's Cosmic Christy. How are you? Um, I want to thank you all for listening to me the other day as I was going through some karmatic stuff and relationship things. And it really helped um, to get that information out of me and to share my pain and what I was going through but I just wanted you to see that once you make it through those uh, lessons then it's so much easier to keep moving forward so I'm doing this last minute I'm walking into um, an Amazon conference I'm trying to build something great for all of us mostly you guys and just remember why we are even looking at these tones and, uh, for the day and why we're looking at these Mayan signs. Remember it is all about the evolution of humanity. And I know that that is like a, a big statement, evolution of humanity. It is happening and, I, and you're wondering what's going on around you. You're wondering um, what's happening with the government. You're wondering um, why people are just losing it right now. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that the planet is ascending. Uh, the planet Earth was never intended to hold this third dimensional frequency for this long. We, sh as, hu as humanity, um, as humans, and as earthlings, we should have moved and ascended up to at least 5D by now. And what that means is closer to God and closer to Source. It means that, unfortunately, where we are right now with our emotions and the amount of fear and the amount of uh, shame and remorse and all those feelings that you saw in my last video that were being brought up for me. These are emotions that we have to let go and we have to heal from. And for most of us, what you saw in my last video is exactly how you do that. So. If you can just imagine for a minute, we wake up tomorrow morning and all of a the sudden, there's no fear. We know that God has us. We know that our ascending masters, Jesus is my personal Lord and Savior, but none of them are wrong. We are all one. Imagine that hate is gone, that no one hates. Imagine that there's no haters. Everyone supports you. They might not agree with you when you come out and say, hey, we're in evolution and this is what's going on. Trust me, not everyone's going to agree. But if that's what you feel your truth is, then when you tell that person, that could be unlocking that truth for them. If we didn't have any of these reminders of hate and war and killing and greed, which is how we ended up staying right here in 3D as long as we have. There's some talk going on, you know, within the community and of course we are all learning so much from each other because within each of us, we have information and not just about this lifetime. Our souls do come back when we die, especially if you are a starseed or if you are a light worker. As star seeds and light workers on this planet at this time, we too are having to ascend 
and get rid of these negative emotions and these programs that are being programmed into our minds by the propaganda of the earth rulers, which unfortunately have been of alien races that have been working with our government. Our government did sign treaties to allow them to work with them for some of their technology because what the government understood and that we need to understand is that it's our those we're their past so when we talk about extraterrestrials or if we talk about aliens ETs people from other um, you know the grays are not the grays do not follow galactic protocol so they've caused a lot of fear with people like us who only associate one type of entity alien as a gray the grays are just sneaky little sneaky little entities that do a lot of the abductions and um, things like that on humans but they're breaking the rules so are the cabal now there's different names for these entities um, that are more reptilian in nature and they have built the earth to be dependent on them for machinery um, building weapons building things for our water building electric grids um, for our electricity building banking systems that they own all our money when all of us know that that little piece of paper really doesn't mean anything but yet they control us with it through making us mortgage you know mortgage homes why do you think so many people from under countries just pay cash for houses um, they control us through these banking systems. They control us through every avenue, through our jobs, through corporations, through through healthcare. Because believe it or not, where we're going, we're not gonna need the traditional healthcare that we have now. Once we all realize what our brain can do and how powerful we are, which is why they are fighting to keep us enslaved. If you want to go watch like on on YouTube I put one up today and it's I really don't want to say a lot about this because I try not to talk about anything negative because you don't want to attach any of your focus on it because this is how they they continue to keep us enslaved however a lot of terrifying things happened in Houston and are most likely happening in Florida that military men that were there to help saw the government basically doing whatever they want to everybody and and please go watch the videos I'll let you make up your own decision but they weren't there to help us and they came out and said to the volunteers don't help when they open those additional dams this is all ruled from this these entities that have had control over our planet. Some of them want to call them the Illuminati. Well, the Illuminati are just the, yes, they're making the decisions. Yes, they are cooperating with these different entities that are one race of galactic entities. Just like we have different races of people. We've got white people. We've got black people. We've got, you know, Asian. We've got... Uh, Hispanic if I came out and said you know all Hispanics are horrible people then that's not a correct statement right and that's what we are that's what our children and that's what this generation is is finally seeing even in other countries is why should we hate somebody just because they're not exactly like us I'm saying this because there are star seeds that are here, like me, which means we are an RH negative bloodline. Now, RH negative bloodlines can be RH 
negative A, R H negative B, R H negative O, R H negative A, B. So when you go back and start looking at true facts of human history, what you'll find is that RH negatives were never supposed to breed with positive humans. There's a lot of different theories about how RH negative came to be. However, we're just a little bit more alien than everyone else who's a positive. Because through evolution, our DNA, every single one of us on this planet, has some extraterrestrial star beings, um, whatever you may call it, these races are inside of us. That is how evolution has happened so fast. If you look back 2,000 years, how have, how have we come so fast? Oh my gosh, 10 years ago. 1990, I didn't even have a cell phone. Okay? So... We need to understand, number one, that we are all part ET, period. Different races of different entities. Now, I would say maybe only, and this is going to be a high percentage because I don't have an exact, but I think it's less than this, maybe 15% of in entities that are in the Galactic Federation that are part of the history of Earth and the history of our lineages as humans, only 15% or less are trying to control us or and are actually trying to keep control of us. The other 85% are here to help us. They are giving us technology. They're giving um, inventions are coming telepathically to people all over the world right now. Have you ever noticed that when these inventions came up, like 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 the telephone, like electricity, like airplanes, that all of a sudden, you know, within that, that you find out that this guy was like a week early. If he would have put that product out a week before and they were on different sides of the continents, different sides of the world, and had almost the same theory of how the invention would work. Well, that's because it was channeled. They, they got the idea about the invention because Earth needed these inventions. And it was just whoever hurried up and got it done faster and made it work. That's a little bitty bit to help you understand how it, how we get these messages. So, do know that the only thing that is different for the most part between an RH negative and a positive is that we just have older souls. So whenever things like ascension come up, which is what is happening on the planet, which is why we're experiencing so much grief, which is why you might be crying and you don't even know why, which is why all of a sudden your life is not what you thought it was, which is why all over the world, what we call whistleblowers are finally telling us the truth about what's been going on and how we've been blinded by consumerism and fear and hate because those entities got what they wanted so much so that right now they're fighting to the bitter end to keep it that way. But you have the power. We have the power. So once you realize this and you understand this, then you can start healing yourself. You can activate your pineal gland because the pineal gland is very important. It's a little gland and it's between your right brain and your left brain. And it's supposed to toggle back and forth. You know how we meet people and we're like, oh gosh, they're so left brain. Or they're just creative, but don't ask them to do numbers. Or they're technical people. I was, I was in staffing for 20 years. So, you know, the, the stereotype that they're a technical person, so they can't 
speak English and communicate with other people about anything else, you know, but buttons is what I'm calling technology buttons. And it's how it has been because our brains weren't fully functioning because our pineal gland has been calcified over time and manipulated by the water we drink, by the food we eat, by the television we watch, by the radio waves. See, all these things keep our vibration low. If your vibration and your frequency is low, then you can't hear the messages and you can't, you, you aren't connected to the collective consciousness, which is what is growing right now. And you can't ascend to your true self because you're still in your own prison of blaming yourself for things that have happened in the past or you're constantly reminded that you need this to be happy or or you sh if you did that then oh lord you know you're going to hell and so it's how they've kept us there i really felt the need to say this because there's so much information coming out and so many beautiful people on YouTube that are putting these things to putting all of this together to go back through evolution and look at um, Egypt the times of the Egyptians and even the one before that which was the time of Zeptepi which is was in the age of Libra and in that time they had water they had hot water they had running water they didn't have machines because you don't need them. There was no hate. We all knew that we were one. So if I'm putting you down for something, then really what I'm doing is putting myself down for something. And this is what I'm talking about, about these mirrors. Even on my last video, you know, I had to really sit there and say, I created this whole thing. This is, I'm not going to put blame on it. I'm not going to accept the blame because I, was sub, I wasn't conscious I, as I built my life around these things that I thought I needed. But back in the age of Libra, which I'm learning and remembering more about, even animals, um, tigers and rabbits set side by side because everything we knew as humans that God, our creator, was taking care of us as long as we continued to live in our truth and to be a brother to our neighbor and to help one another. And it just grows from there. It's like the pay it forward. So, of course, you're going to have these entities that own all these corporations, that own all are convincing people that they're dying of cancer and people are dying of cancer but a lot of it is because of the belief that they have cancer and then they charge you twelve hundred dollars for a pill it's all a conspiracy guys this but we're breaking out of it this eclipse that happened and how all these planets that were retrograde all at the same time were this depiction of the planetary alignment that is happened that just happened and is happening is not a normal planetary alignment 26,582 years ago was the last time that these planets aligned in this certain way with retrograde with the sun and the moon and the eclipse and guess where they found a depiction of this alignment of these planets. They found it in Giza under the Great Sphinx. Perfect alignment of the planets of how they have just regenerated themselves for us. Things are changing guys and your pineal gland there's all kinds of, and it's very simple to wake it up. It's, it's all frequency. You have to remember we are all energy. And I know it's, and I'm getting through this right now. I'm trying to understand it more because we've been so locked into, you know, 
this is your life. Just make the best of it. You know, no tools, no nothing. It's like, you know, we always say we don't have an owner manual for a baby. Well, we kind of do have a little bit of an owner's manual for our lives. Just like the palmistry um, that is in our hands. How did that get there? You know, we can talk about that another time. But it's all about the spirit when it came and lit your flame, your soul, when you were in utero, you had a life plan. And I guarantee that your life plan when you came here was not to be in poverty. It wasn't to be imprisoned. It wasn't to be addicted to every single substance out there. It wasn't to be living some half-ass life that with nobody that loves you really truly loves you. That is that is that was not your plan. So these things that we feel in our life are unfair or that we have attached ourselves to, we've convinced ourselves of those things. And truth is coming out. And it's not just people like me. Truth is being demanded out by God, by spiritual by evolution, there was finally enough people on this planet with a high enough vibration, conscious vibration, meaning they had been enlightened. They, they, you know, there's certain changes you got to make. You got to stop watching television. You got to stop eating all these bad foods that uh, processed foods that all they do is make your body sick and they hurt your mind because your brain is your computer your brain is a computer so you are operating on a DOS brain at the best maybe Fortran <laughs> in an artificial intelligence world so I want to talk more about that too. They're called binaries. Look them up. There's there's one for love. There's one there's hurts. They also call them frequencies. So the frequency of love is I believe it's 532 hertz. That is what how our universe exists. And there's so many things that we don't know. But we're starting to learn because it's time. This isn't just a little group of people somewhere that's decided, okay, we're going to stir some stuff up. This has been predicted in prophecy for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Now, if you're wondering why we haven't had revelations and we're all dead now, as the prophecy had been noted from the ancients, of Zeptepi in the Egyptian times all the way up through Nostradamus. No one thought we would make it past December 2016. And it was because the entities that controlled Earth and the grids hadn't planned for us to be here. There would have been a, another war, a nuclear bomb, the sh you can go look on Google Maps. You can see all of the fortresses under underground uh, facilities that can house thousands of people with supplies and everything that were ready to go. That's where the Illuminati were going to go. And they would just wanted to start it all over, right? We, we've got too many people on the planet and, oh crap, people are starting to wake up and they're starting to come on to us right they're starting to realize that mm, they really don't need to always just pay their taxes and get this from the bank and and what really is money because it, it has no value and wait why are we fighting all these people oh, so you can make more war machines what why do we have all these cancers and all these new diseases that are popping up everywhere so you can make drugs to cure us why why do we have to work at corporations and and not fulfill our dreams and what God sent us here to do. We're working for someone else's dreams because we need health insurance. 
well, if you don't have health insurance and you don't have this, then you can't live on this earth right now. Well, that's what's changing. But it's a long process because it's a lot of programs that we and humanity over 10,000 years started back in the Roman times with the Catholic Church. That was their way of controlling. Remember when Jesus went and threw over all the coffers and said, not in my father's house. Guess what? They never left his father's house. So this isn't even what I picked up this video to start making. Um, but the one thing, and I know this was a lot of information, your pineal gland when it is activated will help you understand so much about yourself it will help your body heal it will help you talk to your body because everything is living we are all energy it, you can even you can heal yourself I've healed myself I'm gonna show you pictures of how I looked in my body and and 120 pounds ago and even just four months ago when I got shock activated awoken because of my starseed bloodline and I'm just here to as so many others like me are changing our entire lives and trust me all these changes weren't just decisions we made Our lives were changing because they were not on path to where we're supposed to be in order to help humanity through this ascension time. So there's easy ways to start. Look up how to activate your pineal gland um, on YouTube. They have frequencies. You just listen to them in your brain and then what will start happening is that those thoughts will go back and forth a little bit faster and you will then start remembering a little bit more about yourself um, and then you'll start seeing more and more of these synchronicities which is why I started talking about Mayan and these and these tones to begin with right why are you seeing these numbers what's going on your Kundalini will be activated when you're ready and when you want to and we're gonna talk about each of these things they're all things that I've done and I'm actually, you know, as cos with Cosmic Christie, what I'm really trying to do is just get this information out and then tell you what I've used or what services I've used to help or what products not to use, what products to use to help because when you awaken, you are just bombarded with information and living your regular life and now understanding that that regular life is is not really what you thought it was and then for all this new information that you're trying to discern should I do this or should I not do this it, it becomes difficult until you can truly trust your discernment and I'm getting there so I've spent money on stuff that I wished I wouldn't have and I've spent money on stuff that has helped. I've done a lot of it for free. And that's what I'm going to be trying to give you information on. You know? So I know this is a lot of information. Um, but I just want everyone to know that you cannot speak of extraterrestrial star beings, um, other dimensional entities all in one. You can't say that they are all the cabal. You can't say that they're all out to destroy humans. They helped create humans. And basically humanity got hijacked. And all of all the entities that were here got stuck here too. 
So there's so many of us that are healing right now because our souls are, have been through this process before. A lot of star seeds are starting to remember that they've ascended other planets before. And this isn't crazy. This is normal. This this is this is that that intuition that women mostly have, which is you know a whole nother thing. Getting women back into um, some power situations, or at least pairing of a male and a female energy, because it it your intuition isn't just hey I got this thought that I shouldn't do it. No, it's that you've done it before. It didn't work out, and some your body is telling you, don't do it, Christy don't do it again now we can either trust or not because we all have free will however that is a past life experience we have we have been reincarnated we reincarnate we come back to learn new lessons to help humanity we have emotions and feelings that other entities no longer have because they have all had to they have been their consciousness is elevated so high their intelligence so high that they no longer have free will so heck yeah they're interested in us we have all these cool emotions and we have free will but it also can get us in a lot of trouble <laughs> right so just remember whatever experiences whatever dreams whatever intuition that you have trust it and I know at first you're gonna feel like you're a little crazy you know when I first woke up I thought maybe I had just lost my shit um, and I started having all these memories and and I've shared some of those with you but now I know that those are just past life that's in my DNA that as my body is healing and as I am now using my full brain and my DNA is evolving now that I've activated my brain in its fullest then my truth and what I my history what I know is starting to be remembered it's in remembrance you know, I keep saying it's all about the re. It's all about remembering. It's all about rejoining. It's all about realigning. It's all about re-everything. If you're seeing a lot of synchronicities, then your pineal gland is open. Somewhat, at least. Because really, what you start seeing first is that we're all connected and what I mean by that is not just I'm connected to you as a human I mean the trees the rocks the car that pulls out in front of you you know if you want to think of it like galactic big brother and you're following your life plan but you can make decisions each way you go then think of it that way that's how I do so when I have a car in front of me that has 993 <laughs> I don't know if you just saw that 993 or there is an 800 you know if I'm taking a look at that then that's a message to me that I'm either on track or Christy hey wait a minute so that's what these numbers mean so I know I kind of went off on some type of a tangent but you know I know it's the truth um I know it's starting to come out we I think what three months ago we in um, where was it Peru they found a mummy you know that had elongated skull three fingers uh, more alien looking we were made in God's image there's been a lot of fighting family lineage issues going back to exactly how much like God we are that's why they're trying to control us because your mind is so powerful when you don't have those programs on it and you can truly believe in yourself and your intuition we can literally create miracles constantly but it's a process so, that being said, I know I owe you numbers 
uh, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm not, we're gonna get through those, but today I did wanna get this in real quick because we are September 27th and it is the Blue Hand Day. And here's what that looks like, Blue Hand Day. And we're on tone 10. So Blue Hand is, a, is Blue Hand is a tasket day of transformation and understanding. The hand is the symbol of ancient Maya power of four. Four is also the number for Gaia. So if you're seeing a lot of fours, then that's Mother Nature talking to you. Four pillars of the day, the power of the fourfold universe. It's the natural power in us waiting to spark into action and purpose. <laughs> Ironic right? It's what we were just talking about. Spark. Spark your passion. Remember who you are and why you came here. Handle difficulties because there is strength and power for them today. So if you've got any issues that you have been prolonging, it's a good day to do it. Today we transform our understanding of our creations, heal our wounds, tweak any aspects that need, need it and get things done. We're operating with the essence of healing and knowing the power of accomplish, accomplishment. So above all, make sure you are taking action consciously and, your high, and for your highest and best good today. So something I do now is if I talk to somebody that I'm really not sure if you know I'm listening I'm being open but I'm really not sure if I believe or if I'm supposed to if that's my truth if, if I'm supposed to meet somebody um, then I'll always say God Jesus please let me accept this if it's of my highest good and the highest good of humanity and I've been putting that at the end of a lot of emails even you're just putting it out there and it's an extra protection. And um, it's, it's how God can help us learn to discern who and what we're supposed to be doing and talking to as we get on our life path. All right, uh, I had a thought, what was it? The accomplished operating essence and healing and knowing the cause of change and taking consciously. Okay, it might come back to me. So, our tone for the day is 10. So, like we talked about with 10, 10 can either be 10, right? Or in numerology, it can be one, because one plus zero is one. The planetary day 10 is what is produced by the preceding nine steps of intention. So, I know we haven't really talked about nine, but here's a little bit of insight into nine. Nine months, nine steps for a baby to be born. Nine months for the human baby that is in born. After nine months in the room, womb, it's the crop that will feed us after the nine steps of planting. There's nine steps of harvest. It's the home that is lived in after the nine steps of building a house. So the Mayans had nine steps that they used to build a house. It's the essence of the intention of one one being the new beginning, the spark or the thought, perfected and made manifest. And yet, like with a new baby, a new home, or food harvested from the garden, there is still work to be done. And while the manifestation itself is perfect, as it begins to interact with its surroundings or with, or with it, there is still room for shaping and improving and honing and perfecting. Today, enjoy what you have created so far and make plans for how you can improve on it. Or what if you've created something that you really didn't desire? Look why and where it went wrong and start over. So, you know, since I was new in this process and not following uh, a lot of the astrology and planetary uh, alignments that are now being manifested that were done in like April, you know, I've got some different things coming in my life that I'm really not happy about. But now I know how to work within these energies and I'm learning so that as this continues, we're learning how to kind of write our own instruction book. Um,
the number 10 is also the pillar in the middle. So nine is a very significant number, as you can see, and we'll talk more. 10 is that middle pillar number. It's both female and male. And 10 is a um, very powerful number for new beginnings and for planetary ascension and, and Earth. Okay, so tone 10 and 10 has its own vibration again or you can put that down to a one so people that have life plans as tens um, typically are very blessed and and have a lot of um, assets in both male and female they are kind of like that pineal gland that I just talked about they can toggle back and forth and um, those when I talk about the 10 number that's your numerology and your name okay so today is tone 10 so it gives us an idea of what that energy is of 10 and you can kind of feel the difference about how people interact just pay attention how people are interact you know some days just everyone's just pissed off and some days it's just like nothing can go wrong so this is a 10 day uh, so you might have 10 is your life purpose number I don't know we're gonna we're gonna have to look that up uh, numerology.com is where I would say start put in your name and it'll give you all kinds of information and I'm gonna have a link um, later on but anyway guys I just want to say thank you thank you thank you for listening to my cray cray the other day but when you feel like that remember you saw me feeling like that and then remember that you're seeing me again right now okay and everything's okay and we're moving forward and I love all y'all and that's the biggest thing that we can do to just start this process is to not speak ill of anyone be thy brother's keeper remember whatever you say to someone else even if it's just a comment about what they're wearing or oh my god look at her hair or, mm, you know just step away from it because you bring that back into your life if you continue to do it if, if you have a lot of people that are constantly talking about you it's because you're constantly talking about other people we can just stop activate our pineal gland start searching for our own truth what do we really want what is in our heart because everything is the frequency of love and let's just learn this together so cosmic christian signing out i'm gonna head into this amazon event see what's up and i just want to thank you all um remember Thank you to the all of the all of the all for I am not small. And can I get an amen from my trillion angels because they're following you too, no matter what. Amen. Mwah. I'll see you soon. And please let me know if there's anything that I'm trying to get help on this technical stuff too. Um, anything that you want to know. Uh, we're gonna I think the next thing we'll probably go through after the numerology is some health tips or maybe we do one a day I want to get through these tones and then uh, we can jump around and, and do different things but have a great day remember if there's something that you've been putting off uh, making a phone call about um, a home a loan a bank um, if there's someone that you've really been wanting to connect with but you were really worried to do it blue hand tone 10 day is a great day to do it so good luck I'm with you because we're one and see ya tomorrow hopefully